Welcome to RAW. RAW is a powerful open source program for processing biological small angle solution scattering data. RAW runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux and is available through SourceForge. In this first demonstration, I'm going to show you the very basic tasks that you'll need in order to use RAW, loading some small angle scattering profiles and manipulating them and plotting them in the plotting window. So when you first load RAW, you'll see a Python toolbar across the top, which I'm going to completely ignore in this demonstration, and you'll see a couple of uh, tabs which are important, the File tab and the Manipulation tab. So I'm going to use the File tab to navigate in my file system and locate a standards folder which contains some scattering profiles I collected on Mac Chess's F2 station. So you want to click on this Open Folder icon and it launches a window that allows you to navigate to the source of your data. And my data is located on my desktop and it's called Standards right here. So I choose that folder and you'll notice that a bunch of files have appeared in that folder, all the files. So I'm just interested in the .dat files because those contain scattering profiles that have already been computed. So I go down to the All Files line here click on the icon and choose DAT files and basically that's a filter that allows me to just see DAT files. That's exactly what I want. Your data files may be named something different such as RAD files but the principle is the same. So to load a profile into memory all I do is double click on it. So I'm going to double click the lysozyme and the glucose isomerase. You'll notice immediately over on the right hand side here the images have appeared and we have a linear Q scale and the intensity scale. If you click your right mouse button you'll see a little menu pop up that allows you to choose different types of plots. Now the log lin plot is very popular and so is the Kratky plot. Kratky plot shows you whether or not something is folded. So I'm going to pop it back to the log lin plot because that's the handiest for now and show you a couple more ways to manipulate these images. So at the bottom of the screen you'll see several tools. So for example the magnifying glass tool does exactly what it would appear to, to do and that you can drag a box and you can zoom in on a portion of the screen. If you want to get back all you do is push the home button and that'll put you back to your original scale. There's also a pan zoom which is really very useful. Your left mouse button pans the image and your right mouse button changes the scale and once again I can get back using the home button. The little disk icon here allows you to save your files at any time as a PNG or other type format files. So I'm just going to go plot and save that in my directory. This little icon here is show error bars and that's quite handy. You'll see the error bars are um, are fairly close together but it does allow you when you zoom in to see whether or not two curves are overlapping to within experimental error. You can also select to view just a single window or both windows. So let's go now instead of in the file tab let's go to the manipulation tab. The manipulation tab gives you a little block for every curve that you've loaded into memory and those blocks have in them uh, scale settings, where you want to start and stop plotting the, the curve and constant offsets and some other things. The little check tells you whether or not it's displayed. So I can uncheck and you'll see that my plots have disappeared. Or I can check them and have them reappear. There is an eye icon and a crossed out eye at the top which allows you to hide everything or show everything all at once. Um, you can expand and contract these little boxes using these arrows. So oftentimes when I have a large number of files on my desktop I don't want to see all of the uh, internal information and I like to sort of iconify them and you can use these arrow tools to do that. Okay. So another really handy tool is if you will look in these boxes you'll see um, there's a little target and if I push that target up in the plotting window you'll notice that it produced thick lines sort of highlighted the curve that I clicked on. So that's very handy for locating curves that are in a, in a big mess of curves and you want to see which is which. The reverse, the precise reverse uh, works as well. So if I go up to the plotting window, as long as there are no um, navigation tools enabled, I can click right on that 
curve and it will momentarily highlight and it will select out the uh, particular block that that curve corresponds to. So that's a very handy feature.